Richard Doherty is asking us, or Doherty is asking us uh, about reasonable prices for dry cleaning a kilt. Here's his concern. Basically, he's wondering if you can or if you should try to negotiate a price with a dry cleaner if you want them to do uh, better quality service or special extenuated service on a kilt. He Come. has taken kilts to his local dry cleaner and they've only charged him as though it were a woman's skirt. They've only charged him like 450 but he's assuming he's getting baseline service, service on the garment and he's wondering you know what would what would we charge for cleaning and ironing a kilt if it were us or <laughs> what would be a reasonable price to expect from a dry cleaner if you're willing if they're willing to basically listen to you and do exactly what you tell them to do to take care of a five hundred dollar kilt yeah um, dry cleaners there there's basically two types of dry cleaners there's jobbers and there's guys who actually clean the actual garments so on site on site yeah. correct okay. so when you take your kilt or whatever you have to a dry cleaner if it is a small you know kiosk kind of thing they're obviously not cleaning it there if they have a huge room with a ton of equipment and you know loud machines and it's like a million degrees in there there's a good chance they're cleaning it so you want to make sure you're taking it to the company or the, the individuals who are actually cleaning the garments not just to a service who then collects the garments and takes it to a big factory that dry cleans everything all at once mm. you want to be comfortable with the dry cleaner and you want to be a little bit forthright with them um, it's, oh, yeah. if you know them, it's going to be easier because you're asking them to do something that they don't normally do. When you're talking business wise, all they want to do is take the thing out of your hand, take your money, give you a ticket and you'll come back in three days. Um, they don't want to have to think about it. They want to just go through their normal process. So you're, I like how you're thinking with basically effort offering, you're asking or offering them more money to have better service on it. If they are reputable, if they're you know nice people, if you know them individually, it will be a lot easier to do that um, because they may be able to or may be willing to kind of bend the rules for you and not just take it, throw it in a bin and say, okay, I'll see you in a couple of days. Um, but generally how dry cleaners charge, at least for me, for kilts is either a flat fee like a skirt. Um, you can sometimes ask them to just clean it not press it and they'll charge you a little bit less some companies will actually charge you per pleat so if you have 32 pleats they'll charge you 50 cents a pleat 16 bucks plus the base charge or whatever it is so there's there's a lot of different ways that dry cleaners will charge you um, but if it were me and I was taking it to a dry cleaner and didn't have a you know vacuum ironing table and a nice steam iron um, I would probably offer them 20 bucks and ask them to pay very, very, very specific attention to how it is pleated. Mm -hmm. I would actually put the kilt on the counter and show them how it is pleated and, you know, and ironed exactly down one particular stripe. You know, it goes straight down the very edge of each individual pleat. Um, or if there's a white stripe centered on the pleat that is centered down the entire pleat and ask them, are you comfortable if I give you 20 bucks? Are you comfortable actually ironing each individual pleat, or are you just going to put it in a big clamshell, ka-chunk, and be done with it? And if they say they're willing to do it for 20 bucks and hand iron each pleat, great. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of companies that just do the big clamshell thing, they may actually pin each pleat individually. But you want to make sure that the person doing it is paying very, very specific, you know, careful, you know, attention to how they are lining up the pleats because once they set them with a permanent press and it's called a permanent press for a reason um, it couldn't it can skew the way that the pleats are hanging it could skew the way that they're they're folded they could be a little bit diagonal the lines could be crooked so you really have to be You're careful about the dry cleaner yeah. yeah and it can be undone but it's not easy so ideally you're talking with the person who's actually doing the work even, or, even better than like you know if you have dad and his daughter is the one who actually is doing the the ironing yes you, know, you don't or, want to play any telephone telephone games either correct which is yeah. why i'm saying only deal with the company that actually yeah. does the cleaning so you need, in you house need a relationship you need to a... be close as close to the the person doing the work as possible mm -hmm. if it is dad having his daughter do it then say to the dad can you just make sure when she's doing i'm willing to pay you more just make sure when she's doing it, she's lining everything up very, very precisely. And this is why I say it's 
it's better if you know the company or know the guy or, or female um, and you are you have a bit of a working relationship with them that you can kind of ask them this favor because it is a favor. You're asking them to do something they don't normally do. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, I think uh, you're uh, on the same page as Rich was with the price. He had suggested yeah. maybe he was wondering if like 18 to 20 bucks was a good price yeah. to offer for that level of service. So... I, yeah, I would say so. It's, yeah. Mac, what do you think? That's fair. About that, yeah. Okay, cool. All yeah. right, so. There you go. So with that. Good luck. There you go. Let us know how it goes.